These are mostly uh, sophomore undergraduates in introductory biology, and these are large classes. And I'm one of three lecturers that they get in a 15, 15 week semester term. And the challenge since I started teaching that class in 2000, and by the time I got to 2006, it was obvious the students were becoming progressively less and less engaged in a timely manner, less and less able to problem solve. I try and challenge them with problem solving that rather than just recall. Uh, because I'm a researcher, it's all about problem solving, not just recall. And this was concerning me and I, I could see the importance of bringing active learning into the classroom so the students would be more engaged. So, just a wee challenge, like that, in a class of two or three hundred. It's an interesting thing to see and behold that your classroom becomes, first of all, that the noise level is almost nothing with the silence. Then chatting to neighbours, the noise level rises. Now in those final 15 minutes, they're all going around with the, the sheets and the questions and they're talking to each other about it. Others have already, they're already sitting in the aisles, not even in their seats, they're sitting in the steps in the aisles. So they're right next to somebody, so when it comes time to interact, they're already there. So you had this whole classroom doing, everybody doing their own thing um, uh, throughout this 15 minutes. Here now you're starting to get a smattering of a whole series of different people asking questions that then changes the tempo of how you teach and how there's more of a, a dynamic between the class that, well, we didn't quite understand what he said there, so somebody's going to ask me. You, using the classroom as a way of, of uh, engaging the material rather than just sitting rigidly in a seat. So they learned as part of this process to have more confidence in their own understanding and their own problem solving skills. You had to own the material itself. And that I didn't expect to come out of the exercise. It wasn't designed, but it just came out of this ability to move wherever they wanted in the classroom. In doing these in-class learning exercises, it means you give up lecture time. So I have 15 lectures, precious lectures. I've got to give up also the final exam grade to some extent because the students need some reward. It's just trying to um, engage them in a process where the risk of doing the work was not going to cause them largely in terms of great outcome, but it would give them some benefit. In a way, it's changed teaching in a large classroom to start to be more of a dynamic process. All comes about from that more humanizing the classroom uh, with the in-class learning exercises early on. In that way, you have to be prepared and have all the logistics ready to do that. But if you do it, the payoffs, as I found from my teaching, seem to be uh, considerable and beyond the engagement and just problem solving abilities I was trying to instill in the students, it, it grew into something much more engaging for them than even I thought it would do.